In this video, we will discuss the difference between molecular weight and molar mass. You are confused. In class, your teacher taught you how to find the molecular weight. But when he uses it, your teacher calls it molar mass. What's the difference? Let's go back to using the molecule for water, H2O. What is the molecular weight of H2O? That's right. Each hydrogen atom has an atomic mass of 1.00794U. And there are two of them, so 1.00794U times 2 is 2.0158U. We can add this to our one oxygen atom, giving us 18.0153U as our molecular weight. Let's round 18.0153U to 18U for the time being. If 1U is 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams, how many grams is in one molecule? There are 18 U in one molecule of water, so each of the 18 will have a mass of 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. So 18 times 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams is 2.98 times 10 to the negative 23 grams. If one molecule of water weighs 2.98 times 10 to the negative 23 grams, how many grams are in a mole of water molecules? Well, one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of anything. In this case, one mole of water molecules is a group of 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23 times 2.98 times 10 to the negative 23 grams equals about 18 grams per one mole of water molecules. Wait a minute. Isn't that the same number as the molecular weight? Yes, it is. With this, we can see that the molecular weight of one water molecule is 18U, which is 2.98 times 10 to the negative 23 grams. However, the molar mass has units of grams per mole, which we found to be 18 grams per one mole of water molecules. The units give a totally different meaning to the numerical value. Yet since the number of 18 remains the same, we can find the molecular weight and molar mass using the same method. The molar mass of something in grams per mole will have the same value as the molecular weight of that thing in atomic mass units, U. Using the atoms on the periodic table, find the molecular weight of aluminum chlorate. Yes, the one aluminum for this formula has an average atomic weight of 26.98 U. The second half of this formula means that there are three ClO3 units. So there are three chlorine atoms and nine oxygen atoms. Each chlorine atom has an average atomic weight of 35.453U. So 35.453U times 3 chlorine atoms gives us 106.35U. And for the oxygens, 15.9994U times 9 oxygen atoms is 143.995U. After adding all of these together, we have a molecular weight of 277.33U. What is the molar mass of aluminum chlorate? Exactly, the units for molar mass just changed to grams per mole. One last problem. Emily is studying pharmacy, so she's curious about the molar mass of aspirin, a widely used medication for pain relief and reducing inflammation. This is what the structure of aspirin looks like. What is the molecular formula for aspirin? Yes, there are nine atoms of carbon, eight hydrogen atoms, and four oxygen atoms, giving us the formula C9H8O4. What is the molar mass of aspirin? Each carbon atom has an atomic weight of 12.0105U. So 9 atoms times 12.0105U gets us 108.095U. Each hydrogen atom weighs 1.00794U. So 8 atoms times 1.00794U equals 8.06352U. And finally, the four oxygen atoms times the atomic weight for each atom, 15.9994U, equals 63.9976U. We add all the weights together and get a final answer of 180.156U. This is the molecular weight. The molar mass has the units of grams per mole. So it's 180.156 grams per mole. This molar mass is important for determining the proper dosage of aspirin for another person, 
and also understanding the physical properties of the medication.